in the hospitals. It could also be a the completion of the e-death notification is set for the end of the 2019-2020 financial year. Prime Minister Sarah Kukungelwa Amadila said the e-death notification system was established as a project under the Harambe Prosperity Plan, an e-governance program by the Office of the Prime Minister to further extend the service delivery capabilities of the digital civil registration and identification system that relates to the management of deaths. The key stakeholders involved are the Ministry of Home Affairs and Immigration, Ministry of Safety and Security, Ministry of Health and Social Services, and the National Statistics Agency. The e-death notification system extends the death registration process by allowing the Ministry of Health and Social Services in NAMPOL to serve as the first official point of contact with the deceased to electronically verify the identity of the deceased, classify the causes of death, and to electronically notify the Ministry of Home Affairs and Immigration about the death that has occurred. The Prime Minister also urged government officials to make use of the notification system. I hope that we are going to make use of this information because the other day I was asking my officials how much do we spend as a government on the acquisition of the IT system and the figures are staggering, ne? hundreds of millions of dollars. But many of these systems are not optimally utilized. So now I have taken note of all the uses that this information that we are generating through this system can be put to and I will now be holding accountable the ministries for failing to make use of this information. People complain even about being paid their old age grants a year later. Now I am told we will know in advance how many are going to 1060 at what point in time. We should also be able, even within the limited resources, to plan better for health care services, for education services. And if we are going to realize savings from shifting from manual you know, collection of data to uh, electronic data, we should also shift the resources from there to actually make sure that we are in a position to utilize this information. The E-Death was deployed to 12 police mortuaries and selected wards at the Karitura State Hospital and Windhoek Central Hospital. George Hendricks, Nampa News, Windhoek.